Thank you, Jan, for the introduction. And uh, another thank you for upgrading me to the first day. Usually, I have been always uh, pitching my, my, my company on the second day, and it's, uh, this must mean something at least. My name is Andres. I'm coming from the unicorn country, Estonia. And uh, actually, most of the products that we are producing are sold already outside of Estonia. So uh, I will give you a short update where we stand today. Big green button, yes. You know, in Estonia, and maybe also here, you have the saying that one picture tells more than a thousand words. And I'm flipping through three pictures. So if you make a little bit of mathematics, you see that I saved telling 3,000 words now, which is important. Words are not for wasting. But looking at these pictures, you can understand why we started. We just didn't like to destroy the architecture of the buildings by adding these type of solar panels on the roof. And somehow, we were not the only ones. There are many people who don't like that sort of architecture. And uh, there has to be a better solution. And this is where we started back in 2016. Then, year 2018 approached, and all this climate neutrality discussion started. And uh, now we speak about Green Deal, we speak about Renovation Wave, we speak about uh, Fit for 50, even though I'm still 43. So basically what it means, most of the buildings in the future need to have some sort of solar solution. And that's very simple because so much greenhouse gases are produced by the building sector. And uh, actually something what is happening already also here in Berlin, so basically I was uh, reading the PV magazine the other day and uh, you can see also here, starting from 2023, each and every new building plus major renovations need to install solar as well. And if you don't do that, you get a fine. So you need to do that. And, um, and uh, basically, this is why we think that building integrated solar must have a future. It will have a future and we will feel it uh, very clearly. And I don't claim we are the first ones. There have been other companies doing PIPV before. Tesla is there quite actively uh, in the market. But um, we do it a little bit differently than the rest. If you look at the traditional PIPV companies, then what they do is they take some sort of existing solar panels and th they try to build roof out of it. We do it in a way that we have taken already existing roofing mater materials and we have activated it with photovoltaic materials. And what it, what it does, it, at first, it fits the industry. It fits the roofing industry. It's, uh, it, it makes the installation very simple for these people who actually install roofs anyway already today. And uh, secondly, all the rest of the materials what the roof needs for example, rainwater systems, uh, snow guards, you name it, the passive part of the roof, it already exists on the market. We don't need to take care of that. And that's very important. Uh, we have also developed a tool, a software tool, which allows to design this type of roofs very easily. It is uh, something what our roofers, what our distribution partners are using at this point of time for planning uh, the solar roofs. But the, the most important, probably, at which, which has come as a bit of surprise for us as well, is that you know probably that solar panel prices have dropped about 10 times over the last 10 years, but the installation costs, they have not basically moved. And we are exactly attacking this part of the, of the, of the solar industry. We save on labor because uh, we uh, basically install two products at the same time, and we save on materials. No mounting accessories required, no aluminium frames. And this is why we are also more sustainable product than regular solar panel. Our CO2 footprint is about 15 to 20% lower, actually. So where we are now? We have a proven technology, we have a proven traction, and we have a solid growth line. 
And at the moment, we are ready for growth. We are ready to scale. And uh, the market for scaling is huge. 80 million buildings are estimated to be suitable for our roofs. In Europe, Tesla claims it's 100 million, so it's even better. And uh, we have been really uh, looking for our Series A fundraising for the last uh, half a year or so. And we are now basically closing this round. And uh, we can start scaling up. Hopefully next week is the day when we can have our closing party. And we have already started actually hiring on our main markets, Germany, Estonia, and also Scandinavian countries. So that's a little bit of a story about the roof solar. And uh, Jan, uh, uh, probably not here, you hear me, but uh, I will keep coming back to this place until you upgrade me to the morning session. So <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>